Since 1987, BRIT, the Botanical Research Institute of Texas, has been dedicated to its mission of conservation and stewardship. Part of that mission is to identify and recognize individuals who have committed themselves to protecting living habitats and environmental resources. The International Award of Excellence in Conservation is bestowed on those who have gone above and beyond, brought awareness to their cause, and made a profound impact in their respective fields. In 2020, BRIT has identified two passionate protectors of the environment who both deserve this high honor, Christina Mittermeier and Russell Mittermeier. I grew up in a mountain town in Mexico, and nothing in my childhood could have prepared me for the life of adventure that I lead today. She's been named a top 40 most influential photographer by Outdoor Life magazine. She's been honored with the Imaging Alliance Award for photographers who give back. She is a Sony artisan. Christina Mittermeier is on a mission to save the planet one photograph at a time. She literally coined the term conservation photography to describe what she does best, but she wasn't always a photographer. Although raised in a landlocked environment, Christina fell in love with the ocean at an early age. She would imagine herself swimming with dolphins in far off places, often sneaking into her brother's room to read books about pirates. Her parents encouraged her passion despite not having any special affinity to nature, and she pursued a science-based education, earning an undergraduate degree in biochemical engineering in marine sciences in 1989. She relocated to the coastal town of Akumal that year and began a job cataloging its wildlife and preserving nesting sites for sea turtles. She began to realize just how fragile the ocean ecology could be and joined Conservation International largely because of its priority to study and report on biodiversity hotspots, biologically rich locations facing imminent threats. Despite collaborating on many meticulous scientific papers, Christina was frustrated at the results. It was a photograph she took, instinctively and with someone else's camera, which achieved the attention and sense of connection that she had been working to inspire. No matter how important the information is, you've got to make people want to pay attention first to it. So how do you engage them? You have to capture them emotionally first, and that's what a conservation photographer does for the environment with their pictures. They capture you and say, this is important, this is beautiful, I love this, I want to know the story behind it. I think the philosopher Rod Stewart who said every picture tells a story, don't it? Well, maybe they do, but some stories are more important. And the story Christina Mittermeier is telling is the most important to our very survival. Realizing the power of images, Christina had found a new vehicle to spread her message. She pursued some formal training, but mostly she learned by doing. She joined National Geographic in 2005 as a photographer and spent years capturing and sharing images of the effects of climate change on indigenous peoples, endemic species, and their ever-shrinking natural habitats, traveling the world from pole to pole, visiting some 120 countries and every continent. Her work is still a continuation of science, but it's through a medium that allows her to get people's imagination and heart and emotions involved and maybe take action. That's what you want. Let's take some action that makes sure that there is a tomorrow, the next year, and the next century. She founded the International League of Conservation Photographers to identify other photographers who, like herself, had a passion for conservation and were using their images to make change happen. She would preside over the League until 2011, eventually stepping down to return her focus to her first love, the ocean, by founding Sea Legacy with fellow photographer Paul Nicklin in 2014. Christina likes to say her mission is at the intersection of people and the environment. And most of us think that happens on land because when we look at the ocean, we only see the surface. But there is a whole world down there that has not really been explored and it's two thirds of the Earth's surface and much of our life depends on what happens in the ocean. So this is one of the most essential crises facing us. But if, like me, you're dreaming about a planet where there's equality and peace and harmony with nature and prosperity, not just for me and for my family, but for all of us, then and only then 
are we going to be able to look at each other with clear and honest eyes and say, I am accountable to you. Through Sea Legacy, National Geographic, and social media platforms like Instagram, Christina continues to travel and share images from all over the world, a passion that led her to become National Geographic's 2018 Adventurer of the Year. Tonight, Christina and her legacy are recognized by the Botanical Research Institute of Texas. The president of Conservation International, Russell Mittermeier, as a boy he used to collect snakes and turtles, is part scientist, activist, and kid. As a child growing up in the Bronx, Russ Mittermeier had a very clear vision of just who he wanted to become, Tarzan. Today, he does something even Tarzan couldn't do, enlisting those in power around the globe to pay attention to effect real change. On any given day, this accomplished primatologist might meet with heads of state in the morning, hop on a plane, then a boat, and by evening be hiking through the jungle, where he might find himself talking with indigenous people in their native language, or discovering some new species of animal. That's Russ. You see those shorts he's wearing? I mean, they're just held together with a hope and a prayer. I love this stuff. I've always loved it. There's nothing like the experience of being out there and interacting with nature on a first-hand basis. He's written 15 books, over 400 scientific papers. He is teaching. He is running an organization. But he's still got time for the field work. The number of books continues to grow, now over 40 and counting. But the mission hasn't changed. Throughout the course of a career now more than four decades long, this 1999 Time Magazine Hero of the Planet has discovered at least 20 new animal species while visiting over 170 countries and covering all seven continents. His goal is to persuade these countries that their ecosystems are a more valuable resource to them and to the rest of the world if they remain intact. I like stimulating people to go to remote places and engage with the communities, benefit the local economies. That's what it's all about. Our number one objective is to maintain the current diversity of the order primates, zero extinctions. If we can replicate models like this across the world, we can save these species from extinction. During his time as head of Conservation International from 1989 to 2014, Mittermeier focused the organization on the support and growth of working in biodiversity hotspots, a concept initiated by Norman Meyer to concentrate on regions that are home to the world's richest ecosystems, but are also the most threatened. This is the, the flashpoint for what has set off a lot of conservation work in the 21st century, is this idea of the biodiversity hotspot, how it relates to the biodiversity crisis, and it's something that Russ and his collaborators have spent their lifetimes um, drawing focus to, to, to let the public know how much of a, a critical moment we're in to protect these things. Driven to continue protecting both hotspots as well as relatively untouched areas called wilderness regions, in 2017, Russ Mittemeyer became Chief Conservation Officer for Global Wildlife Conservation, an organization committed to conserving species through science-based fieldwork. In 2018, Russ was awarded the Indianapolis Prize for Animal Conservation. Whether he's lounging with lemurs in Madagascar or navigating the upper Amazon in South America, Russ Mittemeyer takes the mission of conservation wherever he's needed, no matter how challenging, no matter how remote the location. Defeat is not part of my vocabulary. You just have to be optimistic and you just have to continue pushing. This is a guy who's bigger than life in, in so many ways. The world is a vastly better place because Russ is out there. His impact, not only for my own work, but those of my fellow botanists, is enormous. And it's really immeasurable. Without a doubt, Russ Mittermeier is a hero. There's nobody like Russ Mittermeier. If we had a dozen Russ Mittermeiers, it would be a great thing. But we don't, we got one. The 
2020 International Award of Excellence in Conservation is presented to Christina Mittermeier and Russell Mittermeier.